morning. I think it's still morning. I hear banging. What the fuck are the neighbours doing? Our walls here in the kitchen are quite thin, so I can hear a bit of bang, 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 bang. They were at that the other week at like two o'clock in the morning. I was going in there. I was going to kill somebody. Knackered. And then the dog was whinging at me. I've just curled my hair, folks. It's not styled yet. I will include that as part of this video. Hold your horses a sec. I'm wearing an Alan Mill print t-shirt I bought in Littlewoods. Now, comment below anybody that would like to see it. Now, I can't do, I know that one of the girls on here put up a request for to do a deals gift box or a pennies gift box. And unfortunately, I won't be getting to either of those shops. And when I do, I won't have the budget to actually go and buy a gift box. However, I have been shopping online in recent weeks and I thought that perhaps, see me hoover in the background, oh God, I thought that perhaps somebody might like to see a Littlewoods haul. Uh, I have bought clothes in Littlewoods. I have bought makeup in Littlewoods. And I even was so bold as to buy a fucking handbag. Oh, I saw it online, lads, and I went, my heart went, oh, oh, come to mama. So there will be an unboxing coming. I have a four pod baby here beside me. Say hello to everybody on YouTube, honey. Mwah. Down you go now, baby, because mama's going to put on makeup. Come on. No, she's clinging to me. Right, I'm going to start with the face. <clears throat> I've moisturised. Mushi, you're going to have to get down, sweetheart. Go on, sit in behind mommy so I can see the makeup. Sorry, guys, I know it's, it's rather sad and you probably think, gosh, oh, she sees that little dog as, as, a, as a member of the family. Well, I do. I've had her for a long time. Well, not a long time, but long enough time. We rescued her a few years ago, myself and my father. And we had her for, we have, we have her since then. And my father passed away there a couple of years ago. God rest his soul. And I kept the dog, as you do. She needed a mummy. She needed a home, a loving home. And she'd had one for however long we'd had her. And um, I loved her as well. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to keep her. And I did. And she, from that day, from the day we brought her home in February 2018, end of it, January 2018, until today, she has been a part of my family and um, she's a best little dog gone i'm here getting ready doing a little quick get ready with me an extra bonus video this is my little christmas this is what i'll be wearing on christmas day i think yeah so i've mixed my rimmel foundation with a very small amount of the lumi lotion by l'oreal yeah one did notice i have a lot of l'oreal products now that is the base done I've just a powder that and put the rest of my face products on. Oh, she's here beside me, just tucked under me. I'm literally just there. Look, <laughs> mommy wasn't giving out to you, sweetheart. Best little dog going. She's great. She's the reason she's stick to me like a like a fly on chai lads is she's looking to go O U T for A W A L K, and it's that time now. It's coffee time. This is the time I normally, I'm using Catrice powder. I have very little of it left, look. That'll show you how good that powder is. It is waterproof. I did test it in the shower one day. I just went into the shower with my makeup on. I wanted to see if it was waterproof. I watched Sabrina on here, YouTube's video, and she went into a pool with it. And I said, look, Sabrina, I'm gonna do one up on you, girl. I'm going into the shower with the damn thing. I'm gonna wash my hair in the shower with the makeup on my face, and when I finished, I'm not even going to touch my face, wash my body, get out with the wet, soaking wet washed hair and see what way it looks. Okay, we have powdered that down to a flat. It's completely matte now. I do have a backup. I'm anything good. Now, I'm not going to do anything more with my face for a little while. I'm going to move on to eyes. And I am using, it's a palette by Sleek. What did I do with my glasses? It's a palette by Sleek. Now, in order to see what the name of the palette is, I'm going to have to look at it online. Uh, with the spectacles on. Oh, Natural 601. This is, as they say, right up my twisted little alleyway. 
this is right up my street guys it'll be a very simple basic look what did i do i'm just gonna get all my eyes uh, very few eye eye pencils left out here and uh, that's deliberate it is deliberate i have three eye pencils so one will be mixing three colors on this look Okay, we're going to pull the mirror right in. You guys can't see it. It's out of focus, but it gives you a better look at what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to start with this little pinky peachy shade. And I am going to use a big fluffy brush. A 301 by Real Techniques. And I am going to pop that all over the lid. Up to the brow bone. I will pop concealer on to my under eyes and the rest of my face where I normally would put concealer after the eye makeup is done because this is uh, not a palette I am very familiar with. It, there's always the possibility of a great deal of fall down with this guy. So to err on the side of caution, I will just pop a little bit of the peach all over. I love peach. Now, now we're going to go for a deep brown shade here, bottom left corner, the deepest, darkest, most deepest, most darkest brown. Dip in our brush, lay it down just a tiny bit. I can hear voices outside my window. I can't hear what they're saying, but I can hear them out there. And I'm literally just laying this down in the corner. You guys can see. I'm not going to shit with it. I'm giving my eyes a little bit of definition at the outer corner on both eye, eyes. And I'm actually bringing it up a little bit because when I close my eyes, when I open my eyes fully, you don't usually see my eyeshadow too well because I'm of an age where you get a hooded eye. There is no I don't care what anyone says, there's no beauty product that gets rid of a hooded eye. All you can do is work with it as best you can. Okay, that's color number two on. So I make sure, there you go, there's the first part. And now I'm gonna take this creamy beigey color in the corner. It's got a slight glimmer to it. And I'm gonna use a brush on the other end of this two brush. Um, set from Urban Decay and I'm going to blend that slightly lighter beige shade into the outer dark shade just like that I'm literally patting it and then blending it into the darker shade just to get a little bit of light in here at the inner corner There is a slight shimmer to this, but this will be my Christmas day makeup. I think I would probably do this look. I could change my mind on the day, but normally speaking, I don't. I normally just pick a look and that's the one I go for. So I go into the next brown along, which I'm going into this one here. It's not quite as dark as the other one we were just in. And I'm going to pat that along the middle and bring it into the crease. Again, same colour, pat it along the middle, bring it into the crease, back into the lighter creamy beige shade, blend that out, 
the last thing I want is um, it not to look nice. On Christmas Day, I'm going to my niece for Christmas Day, for Christmas dinner. And I'm actually looking forward to Christmas Day, to seeing her and to seeing her two beautiful children. Well, I wouldn't call them children. One is, well, the eldest wee girl is a, is a, is a grown up lady now, but she's a beaut. And the little fella's gorgeous. He's so cute. <laughs> He's a cute little chap. Very, very, very intelligent child, I have to say. And I don't normally like go on about sort of kids online. But I have to say that young fella is a genius. When I, I, I do watch him playing his game, he has he's an expert on the on the computer. And um, those games that kiddies have, I don't know. I honestly don't know, lads. That is the skill in and of itself. Now I am going to blend. I'm going to have to blend these together using my two or one or three or one or the blending real techniques brush. Right, just blend them. Blend it up so it looks okay. Take my original peachy colour and just blend that up as well so that it, the four colours blend together. And you don't see where one starts and one finishes. You just see a seamless blend. Well, well that's what we're going for. There is some fall down with this. I probably should have done my eyes first. I'm praying this turns out well, lads. Normally it does. My eyeshadow is normally fairly good. Okay. It's just when you're doing it for a camera, it's a whole different vlog ball game. I don't know what it is. I've been doing YouTube videos for 12 years and I have found over my 12 years, I just, well, for a start, I don't get very many views on my videos, but I'm a smaller channel. I'm not in it for views. I'm not in it for anything other than enjoyment and love of makeup. And this is something I tell people all the time, that the smaller creators who have, we're getting absolutely, we're not getting paid for doing this. The bigger creators are getting paid money for doing this. We're not getting paid anything. We're paying. We're paying for the makeup ourselves. Therefore, you know, it's coming out of my pocket. And I have a very limited budget. So most of what I buy is drugstore. Like I wouldn't go in and buy um, expensive makeup. The fuck? Donkey's next. I don't know if the boys are outside, they're busy doing something. Right, I'm going to try and blend this more. It's annoying me. The joy of being an older person on here. Sorry about the banging. Sorry, sweetheart. Did something fall out there, babe? Well, if it did, upper eye under the brow bone with white. Sorry, darling. Got in the doggy's way. I am going to stick my nose out the window as soon as I'm finished here and find out what the fuck that is. She's shaking like a leaf here beside me. I hate when they do that. Look, it's Saturday. It's Monday to Friday, you should be banging and doing all that shit. You shouldn't be nine people on the weekend. Donkeys. Oh, Mushy. Sorry about that, Mushy. Right, now we have the eyeshadow on. I'm not actually in love with this eyeshadow palette. I will be honest with you now. I am not going to be using it on Christmas Day. There is not a snowball's chance in hell. It doesn't go on right at all. There is the first one I just had. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just right. I'm going to try adding a bit of peach into this because I have to say that is shocking looking.
Well, you're getting this in real time. You're seeing how shite this palette is. Now, maybe it's because it's, it's, I have it a while. It's not exactly brand new. Maybe that's affecting it. I'm going to try and clean them up down the eye end. No, I know exactly, honey. I'm going to be going down. I'm going to be fine. What the fuck that noise is. The foundation I'm wearing is Classic Beige by Rimmel Last Limmer and it's Lasting Finish. Now, this might look a little bit overkill here, lads. That's okay, honey, don't cry. I'm gonna find out what's wrong, okay? Let's hope this blends in as well as it usually does. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a clown going out. I know. I it normally blends in extremely well. What the fuck is that nice? Because it's not me, I assure you. And that's my under eye brightened up as much as it's going to with the use of Catrice. Catrice under eye brightener. Now, it wouldn't be the best quality brightener, I'm sure. You go into the higher end stores, you'll get better quality. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do. Oh, I see what's going on. They're rewiring outside. My friend's internet went about three weeks ago, lads. And um, they're actually putting a wire around. Because it's the responsibility of the... Um, management company here for the block to ensure that that's in working order that is their legal responsibility i'm using the black eyeshadow out of this god knows how this will turn out i know sweetheart i know That doesn't look too bad. So that's what all the banging is. They're putting the wire around. I knew my my friend would get her internet back in. And do you know what? That was shocking. That you know what I mean? It is the um, management company's responsibility. We're not allowed to, as, uh, I mean, I'm not a tenant, I'm an owner. But regardless of whether I was a tenant or an owner, there's no difference. If you're paying management fees, you're paying them to manage all the facilities. I mean, you're paying for your bins. Um, obviously, we're not electricians. And um, in most apartment blocks, if something like that goes, electrical. Yeah, she's up on my knee shaking like a leaf. Ah, it's okay, darling. Don't cry, little one. You stay on mommy's knee. Don't love her. Oh my God, talk about... Don't knock the camera down, sweetheart. Don't knock the camera down. Come on, you sit beside mommy, but you can't sit over at the camera. Come on, darling. Now, sit down. You can see yourself in the mirror. See how pretty you are? Mushy. Please do not knock my camera down. No, Mushy. No, honey. No, no. You have to sit here. You have to sit here next to mommy, okay? You can't knock the camera down. She's banging on the camera, guys. And I can't afford a new phone. Daisy. No, I'm joining up the outer corner. I'm glad my friend will be getting her internet. She's a lovely woman. Her and her husband, very nice people. God, look at the state of this. I, I'm being absolutely, um, dog is having a nervous breakdown. They'll be finished soon, sweetie. I'm attempting to do a wing. Ooh. 
it would appear that a wing is a bit easier with eyeshadow than it is with liquid. That's okay, my love. Ah, geez, she's shaking like a leaf here beside me. No one's going to go near your pet. Put more makeup on here. Now, and that's my eyeliner done. It's all right, darling. No one's going to touch you. Poor little mite. I don't know how many minutes. I think I'm 20 minutes filming here. But sure, you boys and girls don't mind. She is, don't. What else would you be doing? Only watching me. What else would you be doing on a Saturday morning? What else would I be doing on a Saturday morning? When you're filming a YouTube video. What the fuck else would you be doing? No. That's the eyes done. Except for a tiny bit of mascara. And today I will use one that you guys can get. The L'Oreal So Couture. I'm not in love with it. Just put one small coat on. I am going out in public. I don't people looking at me. <laughs> oh, I have to fix up this. Okay, this eyeshadow palette. Oh, I, I don't care. I know that uh, um, the company Sleek have a good reputation. But this has to be the worst eyeshadow I've ever used in my life. It's shocking. The fall down. I, I, and it, it's not only, it's that fucking shite of a product. Now, guys, I'm... I don't care if Catrice, I'm very sorry, but this is that shite of a product that I can't even cover it with, with concealer. You know, it literally, you cannot, I would have to take off all my face makeup and start again. I will, this is going straight into a fucking bin. I don't know how people praise these products. I'm sure that there's some of their palettes that are okay, but this unnatural one is not okay if you're fucking dry as the bone, if you're over, 40 and it wrinkles under your eyes and it goes down you can't cover it oh, it's, it's manky it is absolute manky that's my eyes done now i'm going back to my face before i just lose my will to live here <laughs> it's fucking terrible guys i hope you I hope please don't judge this makeup too harshly i'm going to use my i'm going to use a powder with a bit of coverage my l'oreal true blend in beige and try to hide some of this. You see, you can't really see it with the lighting I have here. Now, that's not too bad. Now, I'm gonna take my bronzer of choice, which is the L'Oreal True Match in uh, Golden Cappuccino. This has to be the creamiest product I have ever attempted to use as a bronzer, guys. It's fabulous. Now, my stuff is all here to my side. I don't have a, a, a vanity. If I'd known these fuckers were coming today, I'd have had her out already. We'd have been gone. She wouldn't be here sitting on my knee, literally in rag order, shaking. No, I don't mind. I'm grateful to them that they're coming and they're fixing my friend's internet and very juiced to them. That they're doing that. Alright, my friend is a very, very good, decent, kind soul. She's really good natured. Herself and her husband, and they have three fur babies. And the fur babies are gorgeous. Yeah. Scrub those cheeks. Yes. You've seen you've seen the shit on um, Snapchat. Scrub those cheeks and the next thing. Tap tap. I honestly, I want to learn how to do that video. I can't figure that one out at all. Right, they come in. Life's a peach. It's on my eyes as well. Over the shitty eyeshadow, which I will not be wearing on Christmas Day. Life's a peach. Little tiny bit. Upper part of the cheek, just barely under the eye. I know. You're going barely under the eye here. And you're going down. And you're pulling down and you're pulling down. What you're doing is you're giving, your, you're giving yourself a facelift, people. That's it, and I always put a tiny bit on the tip of my nose and my chin. Just a tiny little amount. Right, and that is that I have no highlighter out, so we will go back into this shitty palette and we will do a job with the white eyeshadow. Now, 
not a whole lot of it. Just on the cheeks. Right. That is my full face on, except for lips. Now for lips today, I am going to use my usual suspects. I'm using a lip plumper, which I should have put on earlier on. Is it called a lip plumper? Let's have a look here. I sp it's NYX anyway, lip primer. Sorry. Comment down below if any of you have used it. It's supposed to fill in the wrinkles. Of which I have many. Okay. And you let that sit for a second. All right, Moon. <laughs> She's right here. And then I'm going to use beige and new. Hold on, I really should start with the lip gloss, shouldn't I, guys? Beige and new lip gloss or lip uh, liner. This is small, man. Beige and new lipstick, L'Oreal Color Riche. I'm not sure whether this is matte or not. I can't see, lads, so we'll have a look and see if it's a matte lipstick. La, 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 la. Color Riche Beige and New 630. It doesn't say whether it's matte or not, so I don't know. It doesn't appear to be suck the life out of your lips. Now, guys. Oh, that's horrific noise, isn't it, my darling little fluffy bear? Now, do you know what? Um, mm -hmm. I was going looking for something in here. I'm going to have to put something on them eyebrows, aren't I? They're looking a bit sparse. They're looking a bit fucking anorexic, guys. That's nude. That's the eyes done. Now, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, lads, I'm not recommending this um, product. I'm going to use the greyish tone one. Because my hair is an ash uh, is ashy, so I would not use any sort of a vibrant. I'm using it's actually a grey eyeshadow. That's it there. For to do my eyebrows. There's one bird done. I have a bald patch here. Oh my God. At least I know what they're at, you know? It'd be different if they just come in with banging like that and I didn't know what they were doing, but I remembered that her internet's gone and it's been gone for weeks and rightly so. It, you can't be sitting there with nothing for Christmas. I know mine is giving a bit of chip, but um, hopefully. Now, my friends, and I put the little lid back onto this thing. If I can get my see, this is the this is the joy of being half blind. Right, that eyeshadow palette is just a bag of bollocks, guy lads. Right, it is a bag of bollocks. It will never see off. Now, my little fluffy bear. Oh, this is the fluffy bear. Look at her. <laughs> now, I've just to grab a bit of oil. Don't touch that, now, Mushy. Good girl. Ooh, shaky, shaky, shaky. I'm going to see. I apologise for stepping away from the camera there. I have the steam pod. I'm going to try this in curly hair. I normally only use it when I'm straightening my hair. Serum concentrate. Protection. Points. Concentrated serum for beautiful ends. 
Oh, let's see. I do remember one thing about this. You only need one pump <laughs> for your whole head if you've got hair in my neck. Right? My hands are very dry. I've curled it, but I haven't actually fluffed it up since curling it. I used a big barrel Diva hair curling iron with the clip to curl this from its normal straight GHD look to this nice wavy Victoria Pratt esque <coughs> hair. I'll just do a little bit of the fringe. It's getting done on Monday. I'm getting a wash, cut, blow dry. Now I was getting highlights. But I might just ask her um, if she'll put a toner on it and maybe a treatment for me. I don't know that I want to get too much bleach on this, but what I would like, I mean, I'd love if you could just put sort of spot pick where you put your bleach. But speaking as someone who knows a bit about hair, you do have to do proper files. I'm sure we can figure out something. I just, I don't want to touch this part. From here to here is absolutely perfect blonde. Then when you get down into these bits, I still have little tiny bits of orange that have not yet lifted out of it, no matter how much I colour it. I might be stuck with them until all of this grows down to here, which are going to take half a century. Right, lads, that is my finished look. It's taken me 32 minutes to do this makeup because I was chatting and shouting out me and giving out and cuddling the dog and, you know, lads, just for the bit of crack. Now I am going to get a bit of perfume on. Oh, lads, I'll show you my perfume I'm wearing today. You're all going to love this, right? It's in boots at the moment. Now, it's not cheap. It is not a cheap perfume by anybody's standards. It's not a cheap perfume. It is by a company called Emporium or Armani. It's Armani because it's you or the perfume. It's a 150 ml bottle. It costs, it's 90 euros. Now I have it a year uh, in January and that's all I've used out of it because I only wear it when I'm going anywhere or sometimes on the weekend. During the week, I tend to just use um, drugstore perfumes like um, Jenny Glow. She's got some, there's some nice perfumes there by Jenny Glow. And of course, the hair. <sighs> Believe it or not, perfume doesn't do any harm. You just do it up slightly, point it slightly above and it drops onto your hair. And then anybody walking by you gets a whiff. And they're like, God, she smells good. Like people just stop me sometimes and say, oh my God, what's that perfume you're wearing? And I do tell them what I'm wearing. Right, I will post a picture of this up on my Instagram, on my Facebook, blah, blah, blah. So if you're not linked with me there, please um, look in my about, about page, about section. <coughs> Drop the claw about section of my YouTube page and it'll give you links to those pages or look up me on uh, Amanda Cully, C-U-L-L-E-Y on uh, Facebook. I'll come up there. I'll post a picture on Instagram. On Instagram, I am Miss Glamazon Fab Over 40. That will soon in the next few months be changed into Fab Over 50 because lads, I am about to turn the big five zero. And everyone's like, oh, are you not worried about being 50? No, I don't think I look 50. I don't feel 50. I know I should go out and look for a tie, but I shouldn't have become a cougar. Mm. <laughs> What's the expression I heard? Now, someone someone on here is going to give out to me for this. You're only as young as the bloke you're with. <laughs> There's a ruder version of that, but I won't say that um, on YouTube. But um, yeah, so 50 in a few weeks and uh, going strong. So that's, that is my look for today. I will, I've, the perfume is on, the hair is done. I'm not putting any jewellery on. I'm just putting on my paint, my purple anorak, uh, my dog, my two. I want to check my lottery when I'm down there. And that is it for my, this extra bonus little video. This was the makeup I was planning on wearing for Christmas. I will not be wearing that eyeshadow. It is a bag of my holy hooping bollocks, if I had a bollocks. And I don't. It is absolute fucking shite. But I like the skin. The foundation is a plus. That powder is deadly. That Catrice powder is a few quid. Cheapest fucking chips. 
very cheap i'll link that below and i link the foundation below i will not link the eye i'll link the palette but but most of any blending or any goodness that's come out of that has come from putting the bloody orange that i'm the life's a peach that i've on my cheeks over top of it to try and blend the four colors together because it just doesn't blend it might be because it's an old palette i have it a while so sleek i am not bad mouthing you unfairly if it is an older palette that may be why it is absolute shite now i will be doing an unboxing video as soon as my new handbag comes in from uh little Woods. oh i can't wait to see it i'll be unboxing two bags for you one is for me and the other is a gift so that this video the unboxing video i'll unbox both bags i'm sure the recipient of the other bag won't mind because the video won't be going up until after christmas therefore she won't she i don't think she'll give a shit she'll have the bag video will be going up after she has the bag so therefore i won't have ruined her surprise gift <laughs> yeah so i better go because this video is it's in the 36 minutes range now lads and holy shit she'll be suing me okay i'll talk to you soon god bless take care please don't forget to click the subscribe button down there i'm a bit mad i post a couple of videos every week mostly i try to do one a week and sometimes i do two and on the odd week you might even see three depending on my humor depending on what inspiration hits so if you want hit me up below with comments on whatever you want to see if you want to see that little what's hall because <laughs> boy did i do good i did real good real good all right i'll see you in my next video god bless bye 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 bye, bye.